All right, guys, welcome back. If you've been following along with us on this Go Hunt series, you know we have talked a lot about the draws, researching different areas, putting in for different hunts, and your draw odds, and hopefully drawing some, some killer tags. But what if you didn't draw any tags? What can we do? We can go and hunt over the counter public land tags. And typically that's 85% of the hunting we do is just public land over the counter stuff because we know we can hunt that those units every year. Well, where are we going to research that? Well, let's go to go hunt. Guys, starting July 1st, you can sign up to get a free, completely free 30 day trial to be an insider for 30 days. It's completely free. It's a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips, and it's been one of the most resourceful tools we've been using in the last couple of years. Go and click that link in the description, and that's gonna take you to the place that you need to be to sign up for your free 30-day trial. Now that you've signed up for that, let's go look at the Insider and see about some over-the-counter public land hunts we can do. So I'm gonna come over here to the Insider. Since I've already signed in, I'm gonna hit that button, and then I'm gonna come over here, and let's go look at the great state of Idaho. Because that's where I live. Let's say we wanna hunt elk in Idaho with a bow. What's, what's gonna be required for us? So once we come here, it shows the state of Idaho and it shows all 78, I believe there's 78 units in the state. Let's go look at some of these tags and see where we can hunt. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and stop. All right, let's look at this unit right here. Caught my eye. Never hunted this unit before, but uh, let's go look at it. So this tells me the trophy to potential is, it says 310 plus inches. That's not saying every guy's gonna go over there and see a 310 bull or even kill a 310 bull, but the potential is out there. First thing I notice is early archery, over the counter. So that means I can go and purchase an over the counter tag. And that season runs August 30th through September 30th. Well, let's look at what the herd's looking like over there. Bull to cow ratio, 48 bulls to 100 cows. I'd say that's a pretty healthy herd. 51% of the bulls are six pointer plus. And this is a big one right here. How much land do I have access to? 56.4% of that unit is public land. That's good. So let's take a little more in-depth look at Unit 76. So another thing about the great state of Idaho is there's a lot of seasons that overlap. So you get an elk tag, let's see if we can get a deer tag for the same unit at the same time. So I'm gonna click on this little mule deer head right here, and it tells me right here, archery over the counter, same dates. So I can go over there, get an elk tag, and I can add a deer tag to it, same exact dates, and their general season, over the counter. So that's great, what about a bear? Maybe they'll let me hunt a bear over there at the same time. So we draw, come down here, look at any legal weapon, this is for spring, any legal weapon, fall. So there's an over-the-counter fall black bear hunt at the same time. It actually goes from August 30th till the end of October. That's sweet, so I could put three tags in my pocket. Antelope, I believe, is a draw hunt over there. What's the terrain like over here? Well, it gives you a pretty good description of what the terrain looks like. It borders Utah for almost 20 miles, borders Wyoming for 70 miles. The unit is composed of mountain ranges and valleys that have a decent mix of mule deer and elk habitat. The Sheep Creek Hills and the Bear Lake Plateau in the south have a lot of mule deer. Elk usually stay in the higher mountains and hills, including the Caribou Range. Let's read about the access. That's a very important part of, of hunting an over-the-counter public land unit is there might be 56% of the unit is public land, but can we access that? It says road access to the Caribou National Forest is good in most places. In some areas, private ranches or farms block access to the public land. Those places are usually lightly hunted and hunters can typically find hiking from public access points that are worth the effort. Some public land roads cross over private land. It sounds like most of that 56% of the public land is accessible. Uh, I mean, this gets pretty in depth, guys. This is historical temperatures for the last five years, it looks like, precipitation from the last year, and then it gives a, a kind of an overall review of the unit and what, what can be expected over there. But guys, we've told you before, we have used the Go Hunt Insider very thoroughly the last couple years now, and it's been a very resourceful tool for us. So I want you guys to try it out for free. Go in that description box, click the link, and try it out. This is, we just looked at one unit in one state. Guys, they have the breakdown on all Western states. So if you're looking at hunting anywhere new, you're gonna wanna sign up for the free 30-day trial and access all this information. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you again on the flip side.